To make wine, you need to use water. Washing and cleaning are the biggest uses of water. That includes from washing down grape bins to rinsing out barrels after the wine goes to bottling. So what this all means is that all wineries, no matter how big or small, generate what is termed wastewater. The best industry practice is around for every bottle of wine, it takes an equivalent two bottles of water. The wastewater therefore contains the residual cleaning products, typically caustic soda, and organic material such as grape juice or wine. So depending on the time of year, this varies a lot in terms of volume of wastewater being produced to the strength or the concentration of the various components in the water. This makes the management and treatment of this water unique, particularly when it comes to comparing to other beverage production. For example, beer, which is typically produced throughout the year, while winemaking always has a vintage or peak period. So what happens to this water? Does it just go down the drain? Can it just go back into the land? Well, this is not always possible and there will be environmental consequences if this continues over a sustained period. Many wineries, big or small, use biological treatment to remove organic compounds from the wastewater. But this is a significant cost, around $25 to $30 for every tonne of grapes crushed. Like treating domestic wastewater, the biological treatment of winery wastewater uses microorganisms in a controlled process to break down the organic mat material present in the water, typically in the presence of oxygen, and this is termed aerobic processing. The aim is producing high quality effluent water which is low in organic content and suitable for reuse, for example in the irrigation of vineyards or in other crops. Why waste this water? It is now a valuable resource. There are many examples of wineries treating wastewater using what is termed a sequencing batch reactor to aerobically process their wastewater. Here batches of wastewater are collected. Oxygen is supplied to encourage the growth of microorganisms, which utilise the organic material in the water as food. The microbes consume the organics, reproduce and therefore make the water suitable for further use. A whole community of organisms develop with bacteria, protozoa and other complex organisms growing and developing a complex ecosystem. Once the organic material is used up, that is all the food is consumed, the oxygen is no longer supplied and the microorganisms settle to the bottom, allowing the clean water to be decanted from the top of the batch. The next batch of winery wastewater can be added and the process starts again. Typically a cycle takes around 12 hours. But due to the very dynamic seasonal fluctuations in composition and volume, winery wastewater treatment requires a unique understanding to optimise the performance of these treatment systems. There are three distinct periods in winery wastewater treatment. The first is startup, which is at the onset of vintage. It can take up to about four weeks for the microorganisms to be at the necessary level for adequate treatment. This delay means winery wastewater can be poorly treated treatment plants can become overloaded and sometimes failure could occur. The next phase is peak vintage flow. The carbon composition changes from sugar to alcohol as the vintage moves from grapes coming in and wine being produced. Here large volumes must be processed quickly. The combination of these large volumes and high organic concentrations make it difficult to effectively manage. Finally, there's the quiescent period or the post vintage period. This is characterised by low organic levels and low volumes. Only cleaning and racking of barrels, sending wine to bottling occurs during this period. Therefore, the low level of organics in the wastewater can result in difficulty in maintaining the biological treatment, as there might not be enough food available. Here at the University of Adelaide, along with a number of collaborating partners, we are currently investigating on how to increase efficiency and cost effectiveness of biological treatment of winery wastewater by trying to understand what microorganisms are carrying out this treatment, particularly at these key stages of the annual cycle. It's a multidisciplinary approach that is required to correlate the true microbiology, process operations and winery wastewater chemistry. So there are microbiologists, process and chemical engineers along with winery staff involved in investigating this critical issue. We've found that there are sometimes problems, particularly in settling out the microorganisms at the end of a treatment batch, when the clean water needs to be decanted. 
We have observed a unique group of bacteria called the glycogen accumulating organisms that might be causing this problem. So together, the team of microbiologists, engineers and winery staff are trying to understand what can be done to stop these bacteria causing problems and enable cheaper and more efficient water processing. To reduce a winery's environmental footprint and allow the water used in winemaking to return to the environment in a sustainable way. Thanks to the Australian Grape and Wine Authority, along with Australian grape growers and winemakers who fund this research.